in the hardest to reach parts of planet Earth. Something has been discovered that might just blow your minds. So grab a tinfoil hat, perk up your ears, because what we're about to unleash to you here is another stunning discovery of a pyramid complex that's been hidden in plain sight for thousands of years. Okay, fair enough. We say plain sight, even though it's the most remote part of the world. I mean, you've got to get there first to see them, and it's easier said than done. We are, of course, referring to the stunning discovery of at least three massive pyramid structures in Antarctica. We know, we know, pyramids again, but they are everywhere on this earth, and we all need to become more aware of the ancient empire that was here before our modern thinking and religious corruptive fanaticism that blinds the human race for at least 12,000 years now. We have to consciously rediscover this world with open minds and forget about a lot of the false teachings in order to truly learn the truth. And we all seek it after all, right? And wait till we hear this. Satellite imagery has revealed what appears to be man-made pyramids in Antarctica. Now, before you start, Antarctica is a frozen wilderness, it's impossible to build anything there, never mind huge pyramids, blah blah blah. Well, for those of you who have not followed all of our videos, around 12,000 years ago there was an ancient cataclysm here on Earth, possibly by a supernova, possibly by the planet X. Anyway, basically the Earth got wobbled and global earthquakes occurred, destroying many ancient sites. There were tsunamis that buried many things deep with mud, and of course the Great Flood, as loosely foretold in the Bible. It caused pole shifts and all sorts of upset to every region of our world, including that of Antarctica. Now, up until this point, Antarctica would have been just as habitable as the Americas are today. Now, although it is completely covered with snow and ice today, you can clearly see the massive pyramids outlined. Just imagine what treasures and secrets might be under all that covering. Could it be on a scale as that of Egypt? But absolutely impossible to get into. You know, sub-zero temperatures, etc. Okay, so according to the rumours, a team of European and American scientists had found three ancient pyramids, two of which were 16 kilometres inland and one near the coast. But the details in the stories were always very sparse and the names of the explorers weren't shared and more details were never available, so of course, the story just fizzled out when it was never backed up by anything. Until now. The satellite images could prove to be the ultimate evidence of pyramid structures located in the main ridge of Antarctica. This would mean that in the distant past, when Antarctica was much different than it is today, ancient civilizations could have developed on the now frozen continent, leaving behind wondrous constructions, telling the story of a time when our planet was inhabited by different civilizations at a completely different time as force fed to us by history and mainstream researchers. So, the idea that Antarctica might not have always been covered in ice is backed up by the ancient Piri Reis maps that shows the coastline of Antarctica without ice. The Piri Reis map is a world map made in 1513 based on military intelligence from the Ottoman Admiral Piri Reis. About a third of the map still survives and it shows prehistoric exploration of Antarctica along with notes that the climate was warm and a good destination for expansion of an empire. You could be forgiven for thinking an expedition to the bizarre structures would answer the intriguing question whether they are artificial or natural, but it would take a lot more than a group of explorers with sophisticated equipment to come to such conclusions. You would need an army with heavy duty tools and machinery to scrape the surface. When you consider the effort involved to dig out the Great Sphinx from the sand and the fact we can't find the hidden chambers in these easily accessible sites, then it puts the task of uncovering the pyramids in Antarctica into perspective. All we can really do for now is study the images from the ground and from space. It makes you wonder what secrets we'll still have to uncover. We think we've not even scratched the surface. I mean, the discovery of these pyramids has caused speculation regarding what Antarctica was like in the distant past. Scientific research seems to prove that theory. In 2009, scientists doing research and collecting samples came across pollen particles in Antarctica, suggesting that the ecosystem of Antarctica was very different in the past, suggesting that the summer temperature reached around 20 degrees Celsius at one point. In 2012, another team of researchers identified 32 species of bacteria and a 2,800-year-old halophile microbes in water samples from Lake Vida in East Antarctica. The permanent surface ice on the lake is the thickest non-glacial ice on Earth. So there you have it. There, a greater history on the continent than what mainstream scholars would have us believe. Around the 1930s, 
Nazis famously made expeditions to Antarctica in search of a lost civilization. Perhaps hidden beneath the ice of this frozen continent lies the truth about our origin as a species. We told you the truth may be stranger than you think, but of course we don't have all the answers. But for now, at least we have questions. Small shockwaves can have a big impact after all. Thanks for watching and remember, the ways by which we arrive at knowledge are hardly less wonderful than the discovery of these things themselves.